First of all, I'm over here with Young Meek. What's up, good? Uh, hit me with the man, I know about it, bro. I know about. For I got, I gotta say, man, I watch about 300 movies a year as a critic. And Spider Man's in the, the Spider Verse is in my top 10 movies of all time, bro. I've watched it like three times on the airplane. Every time I bought, like, I'm gonna watch Spider Verse again. On the airplane already? Damn. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. I was on the airplane yesterday, knocked out, yeah, first man. class, chilling, beat up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm knocked out. <laughs> the feel for for that movie to have had such an impact, to have the to get the Oscars and everything else. If you be a part of something that was, you know, transcendent culturally for for us on animation. Ooh, I mean, dude, it was a surprise myself. I was just happy to be a part of it. You know, I wrote it in my journal when I was filming the movie Dope. Dope came out. The people creating Spider Man into the Spider Verse, Chris and Phil. Um, yeah, they reached out. It was like, you know, whoop de whoop. I was like, whoop de whoop. A couple months later, bring, yo, you Spider Man. You know, all right, cool, shoot. What's the next step? Get in there. We start recording every month, a couple sessions a month. Boom, boom, boom. Two years. Two years done. You know, a movie coming out, we get to see it. Oh, snap. This is what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? This is what these, they had over a thousand people animating this movie for two years. Hold on. Wait a second, this is like humbling, the fact that I'm the voice of this character and I put my heart in it. I wanted, I really wanted to be the live action Miles Morales. So playing it, playing the animated version was like, I need to make sure that I give a performance that is gonna to touch people. Somehow I need to transcend the animation, you know? And uh, I'm feeling like whatever I did worked. You know? uh, this, this whole dream started in Atlanta and you, you was rapping. How does it feel now to be on this stage and do you still have those those music goals in mind that you started with? Yeah, you know, I was always on my R&B, you know, swag, my R&B shit, you dig, and uh, the R&B is coming this year. A couple months, get ready for that Wu-Tang Clan, because Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with, you dig. Raekwon is chef, That's September, you dig, saying. they got me in the fast suit and all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Words born, you dig, yeah, I'm out here. All right, bro, can't wait to see you.